Now, what if I have advanced parameters I want to look at? Well, if we jump back, how do we get to this advanced parameter screen? Let's jump here. You can see that the advanced button is actually right here. If you click on that advanced button, it takes us right here. So the advanced button is now pressed. We can now see these options. You can see the Wi-Fi tab. All these tabs at the top are usable. So TCP, IP, DNS, WINS, 802.1X, proxies, hardware, all available to us. When we look at the Wi-Fi, it's going to show us those preferred networks. Remember those preferred networks we were creating with profiles? We can now add or uh, subtract. So basically add more or delete them as necessary. We can also remember the networks that we have joined or not. So this is an automatic process. If I join my hotel Wi-Fi uh, when I'm on a, uh, a vacation, if I remember that network, I'm always going to have that network in the laptop. I may not want that, so I may uh, disable this and only remember the networks I want to remember. Okay, Not every single one I've ever joined. Require administrator authorization, so I can demand administrator authorization to change network, turn the Wi-Fi on or off, or create computer-to-computer -computer networks. Remember, these are called ad hoc networks. Some of these are good ideas, some of them aren't. I would definitely check this for admin. I would definitely check this. I don't want anyone changing my network without my notification. Wi-Fi on or off, it's up to you. So what else is available to us? Well, we also have the ability to look at our airports. Okay, so other abilities for the Wi-Fi. You can see here that we have the interface that's using being used. We have the MAC address that's being used. We have our connection listed with all the different parameters listed below. If I wanted to disconnect from this particular enterprise, uh, e-process, or PEEP specifically, I could disconnect from that. And we could see all the other environments available to us, even secured and unsecured. Now, last but not least, troubleshooting. If there is a problem, we can press the Assist Me button. Now, the Assist Me button will allow you to do diagnostics if you need, or an assistant to set up a network configuration. This is a very basic type of uh, have you plugged in the AP. It's a step-by-step -step process to let you know, uh, to get you through getting a connection going. Uh, shouldn't be for us advanced users, right? We should we should know how to do this connection by now. But diagnostics is something we really like. Diagnostics is going to go through the process of testing this connection and letting you know what the issue is. It will allow us to turn on or off logs. It will allow us to debug the connection itself. It'll allow us to monitor performance. So lots of diagnostics tools to be found here in the Assist Me. Kind of hidden away, not a big fan of where they put this. I, I thought that they should separate out, separate out connection assistance from diagnostics. Uh, but, you know, it's all under the Assist Me button. So if you need, make sure you know where to find this diagnostics button for you.